bring your sword cause the time is near. Gotta do it big like Bon I'm a rock star on the chandelier. Off the walls, yeah, I'm about to go crazy. Free the beast, anybody that can take me. Okay, good morning. I've already put on my Bon Iver Bon Iver Bon I've already put on my grapeseed moisturizer. And today for primer, I'm going to use, well, I'm just gonna use my Ulta Matte Prime, mainly just because it's running low and that way it's one less thing on my little cart here. Okay, while that's settling in, I'm going to use my, my Amuse Eye Primer in the shade Clean Slate. I've got some extra, so I'm gonna put that on my nose. And lately, I haven't felt much like concealing. So I'm not going to conceal. I'm going to still pre-powder, but lately I've been pre-powdering not with my RCMA No Color Powder, but with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. This is the shade Medium Deep, and I just think this gives me a little bit of extra coverage, plus, you know, having the effects of pre-powdering helps. Of course, I would get more coverage from a concealer, but it's summer, and I get hot, sweaty, and oily. So I figure a powder product, probably more helpful. Oh, and I've been trying something new. Since I normally forget to wet my sponge and I usually use rose water, I've decided to try using my witch hazel. Since there's alcohol in there, I figure it's kind of like when people suggest using a, a setting spray to wet your sponge. It just helps your foundation set better. So I figure let's try it out. I've done it once before and it seemed to work pretty well, but now we're gonna try it again. Close that set for just a second. I don't know, that Can't Stop Won't Stop powder is pretty decent on its own. If I didn't have, you know, those hyperpigmentation spots, I would probably just do that. So today I'm gonna be using the Revolution Conceal and Define. This is a shade F15. They came out with some new shades and I'm thinking about trying some of those. I'm looking at, I think it's F14.5 and F16.5. Those are both olive shades. And I'm just wondering how that would work since, you know, olive does have a little bit of blue in it. And maybe that's why I can't tolerate yellow or golden shades is because of the slight blue. So maybe I'm actually olive toned. And maybe the reason why red works is because red just plain neutralizes green. I have no idea. All I know is I can handle red way better than I can handle yellow. Okay, so now I've got my sponge, which has been wet with witch hazel today. I don't know, this foundation shade has a red undertone. I think it looks pretty decent. But the only thing is, is you know, I was wondering if it's maybe just a smidge too deep this summer. I haven't gotten as dark. And 14 is just too light. But from what I can tell, 14.5 is deeper than 14, but maybe a little bit lighter than 15. And even 16.5 seems to be lighter than 15. So I don't know, I'm thinking about trying those. I've been trying to do a no buy lately, but then I remembered I have a few thousand points with Ulta, so I can just, you know, order things. And since I have the diamond Diamond? Platinum. Platinum, then diamond. Yeah, I have the diamond status. I get free shipping, which is good because I don't think you get that with platinum. And living in Alaska, that sucks. So free shipping, yay. So I'm going to let that settle in. I'm going to use my Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C12 to highlight. I'm going to use my little spongy deal. I use this part for the foundation, so I'm going to use this side for concealer. Okay, that looks pretty good. I was about to say I wanted to conceal the spots right there, but dude, I wear glasses, so whatever. Okay, today, let's set with the warm powder from AOA, which is the Shop Miss A brand. I had originally bought this as an all-over face powder, but and I actually don't think this is warm. But for some reason, a lot of brands, when something gets deeper, they call it warm. Just like bronzer, doesn't matter if it's a cool tone or not. They're talking about adding warmth. So I think they just more mean depth. And even though I don't put concealer here to highlight, I still like to put a little bit of powder there. 
Oh, and lately I have been liking this infallible long wear shaping stick foundation. This is the shade doo -doo -doo -doo, 412 Espresso. I like that for contouring. It's got a really good undertone. Reminds me of my, my ABH concealing palette, the shade Carob, which I absolutely love, but I don't want to buy a whole palette just for one shade. So now I'm going to use this little tiny brush to blend this part out and then also that'll leave a little bit of extra on my brush and I'm going to use that just to contour a little bit on my nose. I usually overdo it so I'm not I don't put anything there anymore. Now I'm going to take this is the contouring brush from e.l.f. Now that I've got that down, I guess I've got my Ben Nye powder in ebony. I'm going to use that to set my contour. Yeah, I'm not going to put any up there because I've made that mistake before. Okay, so I've knocked everything off my brush pretty much. And then I'm just running that right there like that. And I did switch to a thinner brush for that because I've gone crazy with the contour powder before. And then I bit my little bit wider brush. I got this one from Wish. It was like a dollar. And then I'm going to go back up here and get this. Okay. A good start. Don't know what I'm doing for my eyes. Oh. I'm gonna wear a cardigan and it'll cover all that, but still don't like having makeup makeup on my tank top. Got a few new pairs of glasses, and I was gonna wear these ones today. Well, they need to be cleaned. But I was thinking maybe I should wear my obnoxious glasses and try to blend the colors with that. Yeah, we'll use these ones. So these glasses are neon green, a little bit of pink, a little bit of black. You probably can't see that. Well, I'll show you later. But basically, it has a cat on the sides and my name. Because it was like $3 extra for the cat and, well, $3.95 for the cat and $1.95 for my name. So couldn't pass that up. I got those from... Zinni Optical. And the prescription is just as good as the glasses that I got from my eye doctor. But, you know, they didn't have any neon green glasses, so. So, let's start with Python Green by Coastal Sense. It works. This might be a bit much, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. This is Thulean Pink by Coastal Sense. That's not bad. I'm gonna go back into my mattes. I'm gonna go into Neon Bright Pink by Coastal Scents. And I just wanna deepen up this outer area a bit, so I'm going to use Hot Tamale. Do I really wanna use Hot Tamale? I'm missing an eyeshadow. I don't know how, because they're all in palettes, but the shade I was looking for, which is Vampy, is missing. I assumed it was this one, but that's Hot Tamale. So I guess we're using hot tamale, which is fine. I just don't know where that one eyeshadow went. It's weird. Okay, and I think I'm gonna use green on my lid. So I'm gonna go on with a calmer crease color. I'm gonna use Deep Roast by Coastal Scents. Oh, I keep forgetting. Camera's right there, mirror's right there. I'm going into Deep Roast by Coastal Scents. Okay, and then I'm going to wet my brush with Revolution Sport Fix. I want to use that Python Green, but it doesn't really show up as intense. I don't think it does even when it's wet. Let's see. Yeah, that gives me nothing. Um, I go into Bright Yellow. I'll put that down as a base, I guess, and then put the Python Green on top of it, because the bright yellow is pretty opaque. Or not. When I swatched it that one time, it seemed to be pretty decent. That does nothing. Oh. I'm going to use my glitter and shadow glue from BH Cosmetics. Now, let's try... Python green. That's a little better. Well, let me try vibrant lime green. 
also by Coast Sense. I guess it's fine. I'm going to use Balsam by Coastal Scents. That's not really doing it for me either. Wish I had a little bit more of a bite. I'm going to try some Solar Flare by Coastal Scents. No, 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 I'm not using that. I'm going to go with Fluorescent by Coastal Scents. Well, that one's got the brightness, but it doesn't really have that acidic yellow that's more just like a yeah neon green not like a chartreuse okay so let's let's try a solar flare after all i don't know if you can tell a difference but i think that works actually let's put it all over all of it i don't usually go for yellows but I do like my greens to be tart. And of course my crease got lost in that. So I'm gonna throw a little crease back on there. Use this pencil brush. And back into deep roast. And of course then I got a little bit more on the part where I didn't want to get it. So let's see that was balsam, fluorescent, and solar flare and then back to the crease okay so I'm going to brush off my bake and yes I know I go over my contour a little bit that actually just calms it down just a bit because I know my contour is a little harsh for blush I'm going to go into orchid red by coastal scents I don't think that's pink enough I'm gonna go into electro by NYX now that's down. I clean it up. That'll work. Yeah, my face is pretty matte with that um, witch hazel going down with the foundation. So, I'm trying to figure out if I want to risk not setting it with the RC Mano color powder. Well, while I'm thinking about that, I do need to still put on my Ben 9 Nutmeg powder. Because that not only, you know, sets or finishes my face, but it also blends everything together so I don't look so clownish. Okay, and I'm going to let that sit there for just a moment before I do anything with it. I'll put it on some lip moisturizer. I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the shade Alien. I went down a little thicker than I normally do because I'm going to be using a bright lip color and it just doesn't look right. If I don't have something to counteract it. Now I'm gonna. Oh, that's not my. There we go. Now I'm gonna brush off my powder or blend it in, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so I decided why risk it? I'm going to use my RC Mayno Color Powder. It's my most transfer prone area. And this is my most transfer and oily, sweaty area. And also my phone. And I never seem to lose any coverage there, but my phone is... I always have to clean off all the makeup, so... Put it on there, too. Okay, clean up my brows. Good enough. Okay. My rose water is missing. Oh, I've got this in my hand. I'm going to use the Urban Decay D-Slick. And since my green highlighter isn't, like, the right green for my glasses, I'm just going to use this... One for playing games, this is by Revolution. It's a blush that I use as a highlighter. And it just sits on top of my counter because the cap broke. Okay, now I'm going to use this Slip Tease Lip Oil in the shade Sugar Overload. Hmm. Now today doesn't look as bright as I thought it did. I'm not really a fan of these lip oil things because I just can't seem to get them coverage even. Oh, I feel like I look a little ghosty again. Whatever. Now I'm going to use my Sport Fix by Revolution. And now instead of using like glitter glue like I normally would, I'm going to, since my face is wet, use this. It's called Fire F-Y-R-E from ColourPop. Because I want just a little, a little bit of 
glitter. I'm not just trying to cake it everywhere. And don't go saying that's not a little bit because for me that's a little bit of glitter. I think I'm done. I was going to use some mascara, but I don't really have time. And I also want to use some eyeliner, but I don't want to risk my time either. I'm taking that with me. So if I look a little bit different if and when I check in, that's why. Okay, bye.